All right. Now, in this example, we're going to be taking a look at the Fibonacci sequence, specifically the first five terms, but I'll go a little further than that. Now, you may notice that I have absolutely nothing written here to start with. That's because in the example I'm looking at, nothing is given. They just ask, what are the first five terms of the Fibonacci sequence? So, if you can remember the following two things, you'll always be able to come up with the Fibonacci sequence on the spot. If you remember that it starts with 1 and 1, that's the first thing to remember. But we need the first five terms. Yeah, I know. As long as you start with the first two, the rule is this. You take the previous two numbers, add them together to get your next number right here. So if I want to know what the next number is, I'd look at the previous two and add them. So 1 plus 1, the next number is 2. All right, what's the next, what's the next Fibonacci number? Well, I'm looking here. So I look at the previous two numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. So there's that one. What's the next one? Well, look at the previous two. 2 plus 3 is 5. And that's the first five terms. And so that's all the example I'm looking at asks for. But let's do just a few more. If I want the next term, 3 plus 5 would be 8. If I want the next one, 5 plus 8 would be 13. 8 plus 13, that would be 21. And so on and so forth. And that's the Fibonacci sequence. And that's that example.